Yes, I am way too hyped right now. So, I just got a package today in the mail. Um, it arrived while I was at work. I didn't even get changed out of my work clothes for this part of the video because I am way too excited. So, you're gonna see me open this box and see what it is. It's really hard to open a box with a knife and hold a camera at the same time, so bear with me. It's worth it, I promise. Oh, dude, I'm so excited right now. <laughs> I cannot believe I own a set of wedge crayons. Dude, that's so nice. Oh my goodness. Dude, I'm so hyped right now, you have no idea. So, I ordered a set of Weds crayons. Well, I didn't order them. Um, found a set for sale in South Australia. Um, one has a buckled rim, but I couldn't really find any in the sizes I wanted them in anyway. So, I found ones with a buckled rim and I picked them up from a really, for a really decent... And I picked them up for a really decent price, so... I'm super hyped and I'm just going to rebattle them to the sizes that I want which is 18 by 10 with a zero offset. So pretty fat. I cannot wait. I'm actually losing my mind right now. Also another thing I got, I got this yesterday. Shout out to JDM Garage for the hookups but I got a, a Defi controller and I got a Defi boost gauge. It's measured in bar which I kind of wanted PSI but you know. It's cool. It was like really good price as well. Came with the uh, the sensor. So yeah, I'm gonna get my friend Sam to help me hook all that up, and I can't wait. Um, hopefully that'll be in a video real soon. But yeah, just want to give you guys an update. But yeah, um, be right back. I'm gonna go chuck a sick maz over these wheels, eh? <clears throat> yeah. So it's a new day, and I'm getting ready for work which is kind of lame. Got my hair tied on top of my noggin. But this afternoon, I'm heading down to a guy called Car Make Revive, and he's gonna be taking a look at my new wheels, which you saw just before, and um, hopefully seeing what we can do about rebuilding them to bigger sizes. So I'll take you guys along with me to that. Since my car's still hella raised, I'm able to back it into the driveway. Not for long. So I just finished work and rocked up at this dude's house and it's the weirdest thing because he's actually my high school graphics teacher. I knew that he did car stuff. He told me back in school that he used to drive an A86, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to roll up into his garage and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do about these wheels. Hopefully get them rebuilt soon. When I saw your page, I was like looking through the photos and then I saw the 86. And I was like, I swear to God, Mr. Mattingly yeah. told me that he owned that 86. That's my old car. So we're just gonna test fit the wheels, see how much space we have, and then figure out how much wider we can go. And uh, that's the easy part, actually. I'm gonna go massive. <laughs> so Brett thinks we should go massive. I think. I want to save on money. No, it's gonna cost you the same amount. To you rebuild. Want, you want it yeah. out here, and then you want to make this fit. Yeah. Right? With mine, I pulled that guard out so it was 45 the whole way, so you couldn't see that line in it. Nah, I see. Uh, what's his name? Nathan. Nathan, who owns the S14 front and front one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I hate his guard. His guards look mangled because he did. That. Like he, he fit massive wheels under it. Yeah. Which looks sick. We're not talking about um, uh, Kamikaze. No, nah, his name, he's like, it's like Kenoth Customs. He lives in Sydney. Lives in Sydney, I think. 
I haven't looked into it that much, but yeah. When that's gonna look so good, man. I cannot wait, actually. What if he has another jack so you can put it on the load? Jeez, that's gonna look good. What are these? So two, these are an eight and a half? They're eight. Um eight plus twenty-three or something. Uh no, nah, they're different, they're not the right box. At least you could run like big ass brakes behind these. Yeah, I know I got heaps of room for brake clearance. That one's got it written on it, so yeah. it probably has it written on the inside of the wheel. Yeah, it does, but not it probably not that wheel, probably the other one that's in the back. It only has it written on one of each set. Yeah. So the guy that two seconds ago was saying go massive is now saying only go one inch. I'm saying two inches. So well, the ladies will love an extra inch. You'll fit it down easily if you're on camera, so. Whoa. That's already that is, that's outside like. But nah, we'll make it we'll make a fit. Yeah. One more inch we'll make a fit. Don't worry about it. Don't yeah, worry about it. Make a fit with camber. You'll be going through tires, but every now and then. Tires are yeah, I won't be skidding, I'll just be cruising. Not that I can't skid even if I if, if, even if I wanted to. These have a switch on them, don't they? <laughs> oh, uh, no. They don't. They have one, did, don't a diagnostics. One. Oh, true. Testing the, the series one, dude. This is series two. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. Quickly before I leave, Brett's gonna show me the car that he's been working on. What is it? <laughs> oh wait, yeah, I think I saw. Oh, I can't see shit on my camera. I think I saw a post on your Instagram about it. Yeah. MX5 with some like. Ridiculous offset wheels. Yeah, I took the wheels off. That's one of the rear wheels that was on, was on it. Yeah, that looks. It looks ridiculous. What are you doing? Have you seen um, what's his name? Like Tyler Fialco, the yeah. No, it's so sick. I liked it before. He put the massive, the like chrome wheels. Yeah, whatever those big. I think they're weds. I don't like the new wheels. Look good before. It looks crap now. It had steelies on it before. What do you mean? Steelies yeah, are the that, worst that, wheels. That size. Would yeah, be. true. Oh, if he if he went like 14s in some ridiculous offset, that would have been sick. It just it looked good that height. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like the new wheels. Too big. So, how he's building it? That's going to be ground level on that's this car. Ground level. So it's literally going to be. Not even two finger widths from the ground. Uh, chunky thumb width. Maybe Caleb's thumb yeah, width. Yeah, my, my sausage thumb width. Damn. Almost as low as my car. Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not that crazy. So, I'm, a, I'm only a little crazy. I'm like semi committing. I like the when you go around corners and it goes. <laughs> <laughs> the ground. That's like. Especially um, when you go up and out of that back video, it's like. Well, that's what old six used to like scrub the rails through the dipper. So just got back from Brett's place. Um, figured out what sizes I need for the wheels. So for the fronts, I need a four inch lip. Uh, it's going to be two inches bigger than the current lip. And the wheel is going to come out to 18 by 10 minus four. For the rears, I need 4.5 inch lips, which is going to be an inch bigger than they are right now and they're gonna come out to 18 by 10 minus 5. So pretty big sizes, so it's gonna be sick. I need a bit of camera to tuck them in, probably chew through tires, but it's whatever. Um, so I'll see if I can get some time to slap some hectic sticks on. Some sticks, just some sticks. I'll see if I can get some time to slap some sticks on before it goes dark. It's pretty light right now, but I know the sun's about to go in about half an hour, so. I'll go get the stuff to put those on. So these are the sticks I'm going to slap on today. Uh, down my back window, pretty much how they are right there. This one's sick, it's like glittery. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, man. See, here at LP, we like to stick our sticks legit. So, I got my sticks, my glass cleaner, and a bit of soapy water because my car's extra dirty. It's pretty gross. And in the back of my car, all the way in behind the wheels. I got a microfiber cloth. I'm gonna wash the window, then I'm gonna use glass cleaner on the window, then I'm gonna stick the stick. Dude, the soap smells like 
It's supposed to be pineapple sorbet. It smells hell good. Glass cleaner. Oh damn, that actually worked really well. Got rid of like all the water and dirt splooge. So I can't even tell where the middle of the window is there. Oh wait, no, there we go. That's fairly even, I think. For the best stick application, you want to get your uh, Guzmini Gomez loyalty card. I max this baby out about 10 times probably now. Uh, the more times you max it out, the better your stick application. I only got a couple bubbles, I'm pretty surprised. That was a pretty terrible application there, to be honest, so. Second sticker, burst speed. Get it. That stick was really hard to get unsticked, but last one. Oh, ah. stop it. Right. And now, just gotta peel it off. Dude, this sparkly one shows up like no bubbles because it's so hectic. There we go. That's what it looks like. That's cool. I hella dig it. For the two slaps, I'm thinking either here, maybe here. I think that's pretty cool. There you go, guys. So thanks for watching. Um, I didn't just want to leave you with showing you the new wheels and test fitting them So that's why I chucked putting those stickers on at the end there just to give you guys a little something more So yeah, thanks for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, Subscribe comment and uh, like the video if you if you enjoyed All right, see you guys Turbo twin cam 24 valve 2.5 liter I mean, I really like it. Sounds nice. I'll show you an engine bay clip. You can hear the turbo actually spools pretty hard for a stock turbo. No tuner.